Welcome to the Indies. I got a problem. Okay, so every single time when I try to turn on my 3D printer, I have to plug it in. If I want to turn it off, I have to plug it out. So I am going to be making something. And I am lazy here. I don't want to unplug it and plug it. But this is a cool way for me to learn how to do something. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to cut the wire and then I'm gonna make a box for the switch. And this switch is gonna go in the box and then we're gonna have to saw I'm gonna have to solder the solder the wires from this end and then this end and turn it off and on. And if it works then I don't have to keep on plugging it and plugging it back in. So this is what I'm trying to do. See this is the switch. And I used this multimeter, and um, I used it for this, and I used these clamps. I used these clamps right here to, um, to check if this is dead or not, and this actually was working. So make sure you guys check something before um, you check it before... Um, before you actually use something so yeah this is what i'm talking about if you go and try and i try to make it i solder everything up and then i turn it i try to turn it on and it doesn't work and then you just did all of that to waste a switch and you do not want to waste the switch because you never know when you're going to need it or not so this was my problem and i'm going to design it on fusion 3d and first i'm going to have to make some measurements Okay, so I am going to be measuring now. Okay, so I have to turn the calipers on. Set to zero. Okay. Okay. So this is where we're going to be measuring. We're going to be measuring from this end to this end. It says 29, it says 29, 28, whatever. When I moved it, it said 28 after. All right, let's see. So it's saying 27. So let's go with, I'm gonna go with 20. Um, so this is a drawing of the switch. All right, so from this end to this end, twenty eight millimeter millimeters. And we're going to be measuring this side to this side. It's 12. It's a straight 12. So I'm just going to believe that because that actually looks like 12. So now we're going to have to look upwards. I'm going to have to go up the switch. millimeters. So this is the top of the switch. Okay, so now I have to measure the screw. So... Six, okay. Measure it again. 
2.7. Alright. I'm going to measure it on the round. This time, I'm going to be rounding. It's going to be like this. This end from this end, it's going to be 3 millimeters from the round. The thread. 3 millimeters. Alright. So now I'm gonna be, now I'm done with my measuring. Now I'm gonna go build this sucker. All right, so I'm going to be printing a a um a uh, a box for this 3D printer for my 3D printer. I'm gonna cut the, um the wire on my 3D printer. I'm gonna make a box. And I'm gonna was it? And I'm gonna get like the switch in here. So I have to have to up this. And this is gonna be 40. See, look at that. All right. So now I have to create a sketch on here. And this sketch is going to be a center rectangle, and it's going to be it's gonna be 12 by 28, like that. Okay. Now I have to finish sketch shell each every side, every single side. I have to shell every single. And then that'll be 0 0.5. And then if I go over here to inspect and section analysis, I can go to 10, or let's say in the middle. Let's go in the middle. All right. So now you see this. You see how look at little that is. I have to press pull this to three. See now how how thick it is now. See that? Okay. So then it doesn't break because I'm using a filament that's like really well, it's not really old but it's really it's it's old so it's just this might break so if I if I make the walls bigger it won't all right now I turn off the analysis and I extrude this down let's say just five because it goes through all right so now I have to go on the sides create a sketch this center die whatever center circle I'm gonna make that eight and I'm going to do that all the way to here just in case you want a two object so if you see if I go like this on this side see he keeps going with it so that's good all right so now I have to create a sketch on this side and this is going to be if I look at my piece of paper here I need to, a rectangle, center rectangle. I need to make the thing um, eight by twelve. So this will be eight. This will be twelve. All right, and then I need to extrude it by eight. See now it's like that. All right, now side, same thing. It's not. So it's not all different. That press pull it. Now it'll be eight. And okay, now I need to go on here, create a sketch, center circle it. That'll be three point five. Well, actually, let's make it four, because the screw is like three, and the the outside always wants to be always always has to be bigger. All right, that sh that looks good. All right, finish sketch. Now mid plane. Oh wait, actually, <laughs> sorry, um, sorry. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why I didn't extrude this. All right. Home it. Okay, it's good now. Now I can do it. Now I can do mid plane. Now then I go to split body and spotty splitting tool. Alright, and then I take off the construction so you guys can see it better. And then look it, it goes with itself. So 
see one side one side of this right here would be four and this one would be four and then if I add it like this this whole thing right here to right here is eight right here to right here is eight and this right here to right here is four so that's really sick and that's good so now I'm going to go and 3D print this sucker or if I go to five, yeah, so see, I have print, utility, and now it would be repertoire. All right, so this is my first 3D printed part. And as you can see, why it looks like that, you can the filament in there. If I go to this side, you can see right here, it moved over. And to addition to that, I don't know why you did that, because that's really weird, and I need to go move it to the right orientation, which would be this orientation, like this. I would need to put it in that orientation, and um, as you can see, all this filament in here, and I need to learn how to put supports right here and rep it to your host. Yay, okay. So... This just 3D printed right now. I need to get something. I need to take these off, these supports right here. These supports up and look, it's way better. See how this compares this to this. Okay, let me get my other one that's really, really bad. Um, there's, a, there's another one I have that's, and here's, here's the one that my brother chewed on. I can have all this stuff right here. So I had to print this stuff like seven times, and I finally got it all right. So I have to find. Oh, this is not the right. Okay, so see, you see how that's warped right there? You see how it? See how it goes down? It's just going down. This one, you see, it's not warped at all. Straight line, perfect. So I'm gonna take these off, and I'm gonna connect it screws and show you guys okay. so this is what we have you see how it's it's pretty big compared to the wire that we're going to be splicing i'm going to be splicing oh, let me get it up okay so i'm splicing this wire you see on the um, side little wire right there i'm cutting it in half like splicing it and then i'm going to strip the wire and I'm going to wire this bad boy up. Okay. Let me see. I have the screws on, but I don't have the nuts on because, you know. So, and you, you know how it, you remember, let me come back to the warped. Okay, so you know how it's warped like that? And this one is not. Here, if I take this off. This is all nice, nice and straight. Well, on this end, it's pretty bad. That's fine. It's not that bad, actually. And you see, you see this end. This one's really bad. See how it's warped down like that? So this is what I did. So I extruded my bed temperature, my bed. But I, so my bed temperature, I extruded up to 90, and my extruder to 120. And now, cause it not to be warped anymore. I wanted to get another video for you guys and showing how long this process took. All the measuring with the calipers and everything. And I, it took like, what, two days? Three days? Four days? Five days? To get all of this done. And see, look at this. It's all a mess. Such a mess, dude. Okay. So, this is the final video. <laughs> I have to wire this thing off camera because this is all the stuff I have to use. I'm going to have to use these. I'm going to I'm gonna have to use the solder and stuff. And it's the first time for everything. Well, not everything really because the solder I've used, this I've used, this I've used, this I've used, this I think I've used. These are like heat shrinks. These I for sure use in screws. Obviously, everybody uses these, the nuts and stuff. But this is what... Not everything. 
uh, scratch that, not everything. So these these are the only two things that I haven't used before. So I'm gonna be writing this off camera because this thing is gonna take ages. This is a short video. All I gotta say is, if you guys are doing this by yourself, just keep trying. Just please keep trying. And guess what? I got the finished product now. Since I kept trying, I stayed in the, I stayed it and stayed in the paint. And I finally got it. And it took many tries, many tries, many tries, many tries to do this. But guess what? I finally got it. It may not be the best switch, but still, it still works, and that's all we need to do. And I might do a more couple of 3D printing videos. I'm going to um, do some more tool um, tool teardowns, or, you know, tool teardowns, you know, and stuff. And please like and subscribe for more of those videos. Stay independent.